Let's talk about how the United States uh, creates uh, and tries to overthrow governments uh, around the world and has been doing that for decades. We are joined by ex-CIA analyst uh, Larry Johnson, who knows a thing or two, per perhaps, about uh, government involvement in coup attempts around the world. And we want to get Larry's take on what uh, Ambassador John Bolton had to say in an interview with Jake Tapper on CNN. Now, we talked a little bit about this last night, and I was actually pretty stunned when we did this story because there was a good healthy grouping of our audience that was actually stunned and surprised that, that an, a, a, a former ambassador was admitting that, yes, in fact, he was involved in, in assassination attempts and coup attempts of foreign leaders, as if the United States doesn't do this. A good, a good portion of our audience, of course, was uh, saying, where, where have you been living? Under a rock? But I think we all have this sort of innocence about us where we like to believe the United States doesn't do this. And so when Ambassador Bolton uh, said this, it all left us uh, a little bit stunned. Watch. I don't know that I agree with you, to be, to be uh, fair, with all due respect. Uh, one doesn't have to be brilliant to attempt a coup. Uh, I disagree with that. As somebody who has helped plan coup d'etat, yeah. not here, but you know, other places, uh, it takes a lot of work. And that's not what he did. It was just stumbling around from one idea to another. Ultimately, he did unleash the rioters at the Capitol. As to that, there's no doubt. So, oh yeah, I was actively involved in coups. And as we said last night, I do want to play the second part of this because Jake Tapper did follow up on this and did actually press him on this question. Wait a minute, you, you were actively involved in coups? Will you talk more about that? Here's what he had to say. To anathematize the rest of the Republican Party, and that's unacceptable. I, I do want to ask a follow-up. Um, when we were talking about what is capable, what you need to do to be able to plan a coup, and you, you cited your expertise having planned coups. I'm not going to get into the specifics, but... Uh, Successful coups? Well, I wrote about Venezuela in, uh, in the book, and uh, it, it turned out not to be successful. Not that we had all that much to do with it, but I saw what it took <laughs> for an opposition to try and overturn an illegally elected president, and they failed. The notion that Donald Trump was half as competent as the Venezuelan opposition is laughable. But I so think there's another... I feel like you're so this other stuff you're not... Yeah, there's some other stuff you're not telling us, he says. Yeah, there's some stuff I'm not telling you. So, Larry, uh, when you watched those comments, what was your kind of initial thought on that? And then we'll kind of unpack what he's not telling us. Bolton is a buffoon. I mean, he's just a, he is a, uh, a highly credentialed fool. This is, you know, he thinks he did a great job with planning the coup in Venezuela that went nowhere and did nothing. Complete failure. Uh, there was a time when the CIA was actively involved in overthrowing governments. In the 1950s, overthrew the government of Arbenz and uh, Guatemala, and over, overthrew uh, the, uh, the ruler of Iran, who was then replaced by the Shah of Iran. So in both cases, it was serving financial interests beneficial to the United States. The uh, United States tried and failed repeated efforts to take out Fidel Castro and eliminate Cuba. Uh, we were, I, I know for, even though in popular mythology, the U.S. is viewed as play, having planned a, played a central role in the coup that ousted Salvador Allende in Chile in 1973, the, the fact of the matter was that was carried out by the Chilean military. They sort of locked the CIA up and the, the, the U.S. Embassy and kept them out of the way and just said, you know, oh, yeah, thanks for your suggestions. We'll take care of it. Um, states involved in multiple changes of government there. Uh, you know, it, Jake Tapper didn't push him on it really at all. He just sort of asked that question. Yeah. didn't really push him on it too much on it. But, you know, uh, Max Blumenthal at the Gray Zone, of course, interviewed Nicolas Maduro, who was the target of that assassination. And Nicolas says, yeah, this, this was, it, it was ordered by John Bolton. Listen. Now, a year ago, it'll be a year in August, there was the attempt. I can tell you that today I have proof that the assassination attempt was ordered by John Bolton in the White House. You're saying John Bolton personally commanded an assassination attempt against you. And he waited for the results in the White House. If you dig deeper, you'll see it someday. 
The proof will come out how John Bolton, in coordination with then-Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos, and they gave the task to Julio Borges, a former legislator in Venezuela. Larry, your we thoughts on that? Up. That's pretty amazing. That's a- yeah, I, I think it, it's plausible. I wouldn't put it past, you know, Bolton's dumb enough to try to do something like that. Uh, you, you know, we're, we're terrible at playing chess. And, and what I mean by that is when you make a move, you need to anticipate what the counter move will be. And then you need to be prepared to make your move to that counter move. And then what their counter move will be to your counter move and play it out for four or five levels because you're never quite sure where that first move is, is going to lead. Well, okay, killing Maduro, uh, you know, would have made them feel good. And I, I have no doubt that Bolton may have been able to sell that to Donald Trump. But uh, again, with uh, Bolton puffing himself up as, uh, you know, this, this kind of self-importance and, yeah, I plan and run coups, well, you obviously haven't planned and run them very well because you can't point to one recent success uh, on his part. Uh, the other coup we forgot, I forgot to mention that had nothing to do with Bolton, but did have to do with Obama, was the coup in Ukraine, which out, ousted uh, Poroshenko, I believe, was the president at the time. He was ousted in, two, in February 2014. And again, that move has unleashed, you know, unleashed a civil war, has resulted in the deaths of tens of thousands of civilians. And now, God knows how many Ukrainian soldiers have died as a result of this war. Yeah, yes. and we saw the the involvement of Victoria Newland, of course, and installing this puppet regime. And uh, of course, we saw the fallout of that. So have, I guess, have we ever had, what were you going to say? I was going to say, have we ever had like a, a successful coup <laughs> like that's actually worked and, and benefited somehow the United States? I think that that's not how, I don't know, human life works, right? <laughs> but I guess we're that's not the really question, supposed right? I mean, to live by the I mean, they took over the American government pretty much. Would that be considered a coup? <laughs> I guess, yeah. They, yeah run the, they, they run the whole deep state, right? I mean, I guess that worked. Yeah. How's that, how's that working out now with almost 10% inflation, declining wages, um, the uh, layoffs mounting in, this, in the United States on both uh, the real estate, car possessions, repossessions going up? Yeah, that's big. Yeah, but Larry, the, the, babies, the job baby, numbers are the highest. Baby formula they've, shortages. The, the job numbers are so the what? highest they've ever been, Larry. What are you talking about? <laughs> right. Yeah, yes. Very, very... Buried in the statistics that came out yesterday uh, was the fact that the the wages and in, in the inflation that took place under I mean, wages were going up even though prices were going up with inflation. What what was that revealed in the statistics that came out yesterday is that in fact wages are dropping, and they had the highest level of uh, unemployment claims filed today. I don't know if you saw that news wow. that came out today. So. It, the, 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 this thing is turning, uh, and it's not turning in a good direction. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. You know, we've been banned, we've been blocked, we've been censored. That's why we started our own website to stay connected with you for free. That's right. So head on over to redacted.inc and make sure you're connected with us. You can sign up again at redacted.inc, not .com.